Hey guys, it's Dad from Bags for Bubbles, and today I wanted to follow up on my previous video. I'm here in my office, and I wanted to share what handbags I still had in my collection, and what I'm thinking about keeping, what still may go, and also what I kind of foresee for the future. So if you guys don't follow my vlogging channel, which is Being Mommy with Style, I will link that down below, where we do vlogging and just mommy vlogs and do that part of life over there. I did make an announcement, which kind of ties into all this, so I'm going to do a little bit more explaining here in this video for you guys we are moving also so part of this is like a moving clear out getting rid of the old in with the new out with the old type of thing as well so we're getting ready to move pretty much across like the middle part of the country from the northern metro Detroit area to the south basically and we're going to Alabama so you guys can check out all those moving vlogs over in my channel I'll be vlogging it along but today I wanted to update with my cabinet and just kind of talk through like what I have and share what I think Think may happen after I go down there and how my style may change because it is a hotter climate so it's gonna be a lot more sun dresses and lighter cooler fabrics and that sort of thing and so I wanted to talk a little bit about what I foresee for the future and also I wanted to mention too because a couple people mentioned it down in the comments um, so my last video was about like how I don't foresee any contemporary Louis Vuitton bags coming into my collection anytime soon and I've cleared out everything that I had bag wise. I still have a number of accessories which I'll show you. Um, but one thing that I will possibly consider after we get down there is looking into vintage and a couple people have asked that on that video and then older videos as well. Would I ever consider vintage? And yes, I may. On the years where I feel like quality is less of a concern or maybe the canvas that is used is a little bit thicker or this and that and the other, I may consider vintage for the future. So um, that may be coming up and I may be going to like a different style bag. Who knows? I'm going to a different climate. So I'm going to have to get down there and see what works and all that sort of thing but I have been liking my crossbody bags recently so let me show you what I still have and take you over to my bag cabinet and talk a little bit about my plans for at the new house. So here's the bag I've been using recently. This is the Kate Spade bag that I showed a number of months ago. I've been loving the style and I've just been gravitating towards using this. It's really easy to use. It's got the longer strap that I can use cross body and I love that how it has a little handle in there as well. I'll show you a little quick messy bag inside my bag of the day. Tons of receipts right now because we're moving. I've got this Kate Spade wallet. I've got the coin purse from Louis Vuitton that I've been using for years. And then just to make up tons of receipts, tons of paperwork because we're in the middle of moving. But I do think that I'll switch to something lighter colored after we get down there because it is a different climate. So that's what I'm using right now. So let's take you into the cabinet. And this is what's left in the cabinet. And some of these bags I do think still will be rehomed, but I just wanna take you through and show you what is left. So I do have some accessories down left to here. There's a couple of charms that are Louis Vuitton and um, they are charms that I like and I'm planning on keeping. So this one's like the carousel charm. It's got the monogram in the pink. And then this one is another charm as well. And it is a flat charm. I like these flat charms for some reason because they don't clink and all that. This one's a hot air balloon so I'm planning on keeping both of those. I also still have a Verney wallet and then also an agenda and a couple bandus as well and then all those are empty boxes for stuff that's upstairs. And then this is just bags and stuff like that that I stowed away in there. So that's all that's left of the Louis Vuitton. And then I do have a couple other places where I have bags as well. And I still have this little wallet because I know people asked about that. So a number of the accessories stayed. And then I have this Kate Spade, which I'm kind of neutral on, but honestly I may switch because it's a similar style to what I'm using now. And it's lighter colored, so they'll work well for summer. I have this Rebecca Minkoff bag that is just still with me by circumstance. I did try selling both the Rebecca Minkoff bags and the black one with the rose gold hardware sold. This one did not. I do still really like the plum color. So if um, I don't sell it, I may still hang on to this one because it's just kind of a nice, easy bag to use. I have this bag as a Disney bag that I use for Disney bounding along with this Kate Spade little card case as a Disney bounding set. This is a fossil bag that is kind of the similar style that I've been using that I got my uh, best friend up here got one too. It doesn't have the handle that goes over but it's a great brown color that I'm planning on using for this summer. This Vera Bradley bag is one that I use for cruising a lot. It's just really easy because it can hold all of my camera equipment 
which is mainly what I need a bag for on the cruises <laughs> because, you know, a cruise, all you really need to have is the card where you swipe, but I have to have somewhere to put all my camera equipment. So that's, I'm planning on staying. This is a cute little Tory Burch pouch, which I like because it can fit my phone, but not much else. But it does work well on cruises for like a dinner bag. I can't necessarily fit my camera stuff in there, but it's a cute little dinner bag. So for right now, I'm planning on keeping it just because it's so multifunctional. It can be just a carry clutch like this, or it does have the strap that can go on it as well. And here's one of the bandos that I'm keeping. I like that one. It's the Comite from, I think, 2008. It's really super hard to find now, so I'm planning on keeping that. This is a Tory Burch bag that I'm honestly kind of neutral on at this point. Um, I think that I like the style, but I, I obviously have a lot of different bags in this kind of tone. Um, but this is a nice handy bag to use in the fall, so it's still around right now. And then for Disney bags, I also have my Dooney and Burke. Uh, Beauty and the Beast bag. This is a really nice big bag again for all of my camera equipment that I can use when I'm filming down at Disney World. So this I'm planning on keeping and I actually upgraded my other smaller letter carrier into this one and got rid of the small one because I couldn't fit as much filming equipment in it. I still have all my Rebecca Mink off morning after um, clutches. This one's the mini size which can't fit as much but I like the color. And then I have two of just the regular sizes so I've got those in pink and gray and then this is a bag that I got before our first cruise and this is really multifunctional I think I got it at Nordstrom it's uh, Vince Camuto it's just got a lot of different pockets and stuff so this was handy for carrying filming equipment so I think you can kind of see a trend is that fil carrying filming equipment has become more of a priority so one of my goals at the new house is to fit hopefully all or a majority of my bags back in my master closet so I previously have had it that way and I would I would like to go back that way and remember these bags are flat so I have bag organizers here in this closet where I store all my American Girl stuff and I do use all this stuff for videos so the American Girl and Disney videos are kind of two of my big types of videos so I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute but um, I have four of these organizers that go across the top of a master closet. And that's kind of my plan right now is I'd like to go back to using those. So I've got two coach bags that are up here. So these are those two bags. There's a plum. I believe this is the Alexandra. Again, it's like really nice and big. And I'm not planning on partying with this one right now because it's another bag I can wear cross body. As you can lengthen and everything and kind of it's multifunctional. And this one is the satchel that I showed a couple years ago. And it's a nice size. It's kind of versatile. So I haven't used it in a while. This may be one of the next ones to go. I like the puff ball though. I want to keep that. But anyhow, for right now, I'm kind of hit a stop point where I can't get rid of anything more because I've got to focus on moving. So those two are still with me. I've also got this coach tote, which this is the great basic tote. So that one's just kind of a toss around bag. There's this one, Longchamp tote. I wear this for traveling a lot. You can see my Disney tag there. I wear that for traveling a lot. This one's like just a functional tote. I got this a number of years ago, actually right after I started YouTube. And I use this for like functional stuff. Like again, carrying quick camera equipment, not for any distance. But like if I need to carry it in my car, I would use like that. This is a Vera Bradley bag that I got at the outlet here, and this is good for my laptop, again, if I'm not going any distance. It's got like a harder side, and this is what I typically use that for. And then these are all like just goodie bags that I've gotten at different Disney and YouTube events um, hanging here. So those one, I don't really consider this a handbag. I consider more of this and this like functional bags. So these two bags and those two are in the closet. But I've got all of this bag space that I'm hoping to open up and get the majority of these bags all up in the top of my closet at the master, at the master bedroom in the new house. I also have this thing stowed away, which is um, here in the office, obviously. And it's got all my Balenciaga bags because they can lay flat. I've got this Anthracite City. There is this part-time with the giant hardware. And then there's also this blue 
which I'm anticipating I will use this a lot down there. My aquamarine bag, and I do rotate these in and out quite a bit. In fact, I went through a period where I used this so much that it finally started showing a considerable amount of wear. I also wanted to mention, because a couple people had kind of points of contention about like, how can you have a problem with Louis Vuitton quality and then like Balenciaga directly after that? So let me give you my thoughts so on that. So here are my like two second thoughts on that, and I'll try to make it quick so this doesn't turn into a 20 minute video. But here are my thoughts. So when I talk about Louis Vuitton quality, I mean something that should be and should not break. I'm not talking about like the characteristic of the bag. So like a Louis Vuitton bag maybe over time will have patina on the handles. Like the handles were dark and that's just part of its natural characteristic and its wear. So like with Balenciaga bags, part of its natural characteristic and wear is that the bags get smushier and they, they smush in and the handles soften and all those sorts of things are the equivalent of like your handles darkening on a Louis Vuitton bag that has the Vaquetta leather, Vaquetta leather around the outsides. I don't consider that quality. That's not quality to me. Quality to me is having a strap break on an almost brand new bag that you just paid $1,500 for or having studs on a couple thousand dollar bag break off because they turn out their plastic or having the hardware scratch to a point where you know it's like really looking bad within a month of getting it those are more quality issues to me wrinkly leather um I don't know paint coming off your bag like those the never full issues they had um not too long ago where they were you know pink and blue and that sort of thing and people were having problems with the paint coming off on them um that's quality to me. So that's the difference between like, you know, I feel confident I can hold up this blue bag from Balenciaga and it's not gonna dye my clothing. So that is the difference between the natural characteristics of the wear to me versus the quality. And overall, quality wise, I feel like Balenciaga did a good job. Now, if you notice, I have all vintage bags and I haven't been interested in them either. Since they switched to leather and then they switched to management and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, things have changed over time there and they kept raising their prices. One thing that really irks me is when companies raise prices and I don't feel like quality goes anywhere. In fact, a lot of times it goes down. So when prices start going this way and quality starts going down, I really just check out. And that's kind of what I've done basically. But I found a happy home over on my other channel. And I do think that there will be things upcoming on this channel because my style will evolve being more down in the South again and I'll wear more dresses, I will probably start to gravitate towards a different type of purse. So I will take you guys on that journey. It, I don't know how often it will be or whatever, but if you want to hang out for that, I will be more than happy to bring you along and I will show you what I get after I, you know, get down in the south and my wardrobe starts to change. So that being said, um, I do really still love these Balenciaga bags and I'm planning on keeping these. And I do feel like the point should be made that quality, what I am talking about with these Louis Vuitton bags as of late, are like inherent issues with like the material that they've used, how they've put it together. You know, just bad decisions with those sorts of things. Not characteristics of how it wears over the time. That's not quality to me. Quality is like usually things that happen quite immediately. Um, so that is what I'm referring to with quality. So hopefully that clears that up a little bit. So hopefully you guys enjoy coming along to see what was left over in my handbag collection. I still have quite a bit, obviously, and I still think I have a few things that will go. And then yes, I think there will be some things that will come in after I'm down south, but I think that I will wait until after we've moved. Obviously I'm hitting a point now where I can't really order things and have them delivered to my house. But um, I do think that it will evolve over time and I will be sure to share that with you. So if you're wanting like a final count I've got like three Balenciaga bags there there was the four bags in the closet two totes and two coaches so what's that seven um and then there's those bags up there so that's around 11 12 13 14 15 16 I haven't done this uh 16 what was on 16 17 so around like 16 17 that's a lot of handbags still guys and then this one. So that's that's still a lot of bags. So I think that a couple more of these could still get weeded out. And then we'll see what happens from there. But I feel like I have a really great variety. I'm happy with what I have. And I feel like if I look at vintage Louis Vuitton handbags, I probably will gravitate towards like the basics. And by that I mean like 
the Speedy, the Neverfull, like, and that's it, really. And older years from, like, 2007, 2009, maybe really nothing newer than that because I want, like, a thicker canvas and that sort of thing. So we'll see what's available that is in not too bad condition because obviously I'm going to hit the point where the year that I'm wanting for quote unquote quality wise is not really available in good condition anymore. So we'll see. I've got to do research on that and I will be doing that after we move. Um, but I, what I foresee for the future is probably some sort of never full, either just the regular monogram or the damier. And then I'm thinking like an Azure Speedy. And I don't know whether it would have, because the Bandeleur, they're all thin canvas. So it may just be a regular one so I can get an older one. I don't know. But I'll take you on that journey whenever we get down there. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed seeing my updated handbag collection. Um, I'm going to be doing things on the fly here for probably about the next month or so. Because we're getting ready to move and our whole life is turning upside down. And we're changing everything. So if you want to watch those moving vlogs, be sure to check me out over on Being Mommy with Style. And I will see you for some more videos over here at some point in the future. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.